Hi, this is the video of how to install Smartbox on the demo content. So first of all, what you're going to receive from ThemeForest is a zip file like this, Smartbox and the version number. First of all, we're going to unzip that file, take a look at the contents, and we have five folders and a zip file. I'm going to tell you what all those are now. We have a backgrounds folder which contains lots of images that you can use to change the background of your Smartbox theme when it's installed. We have a demo folder which contains an XML file which you can use to install all the content that we have online on our demo site onto your existing site. And the next one is uh, documentation which contains a link to our docs. The licensing folder has all the licensing information and there's a PSD folder which has the Smartbox PSD file which you can use in Photoshop to edit the design of the site. But the most important file is this zip file here which is the Smartbox theme zip file and I'm going to show you how to install that now in WordPress. So to show you how to do that I've got a blank WordPress installation here which has got the default 2012 theme running. So we're going to change that to Smartbox. So to do that, what we have to do is log in to the WP Admin panel. So we log in. And you need to go to Appearance Themes. And at the top of the page, you'll see there's an Install Themes tab. You need to click that. And then there's an Upload link at the top. Click there. Next of all, we want to select that theme file that we were just talking about, the Smartbox theme file, and install it. So we click choose file and we choose the Smartbox theme version 1. Once that's selected you can just click the install now button and there the theme has been installed and you need to click activate. And now the Smartbox theme is installed and active. And we can just check that by going to the front and you can see there's the Smartbox theme with the default Hello World post and a couple of default widgets installed by WordPress. Okay, so next we need to install the demo content file. But to do that, we're going to need to install a couple of other plugins. So we need to go to back into the admin panel. And there's two plugins that you need to install in order for this to work. The first one is the actual importer itself, which is the WordPress importer. And the second one is the Contact Form 7, which Smartbox use, uses to manage the contact form. So to install those, we need to go to Plugins, Add New. And you want to type, first of all, WordPress Importer, and click Search. And once it's found uh, the WordPress Importer, you need to click Install Now. OK. Once that plugin is installed, you need to click the Activate Plugin link. And now we need to click Add New again to install the Contact Form 7 plugin. This is the plugin you'll need. Click Install. OK. Once that's installed, again click Activate Plugin. So that's the Contact Form 7 installed. So now to import the demo content from our demo site, you need to go to Tools, Import. And now you need to select the WordPress importer that we just installed. And now we need to choose that demo content XML file which is in the demo folder. Once you've selected that file, click Upload and Import. Now, you need to select which users you want to match the users that we have in our demo content. So for now, I'm just going to select Admin for all those users. But the most important thing here is to click this Import Attachments and Files uh, checkbox because that will mean that all the demo photos and uh, pictures that we have will get installed onto your theme as well. So next click Submit and this might take a while to install all the photos so you might need to wait a minute. Okay so once that's finished 
you should, should get a message saying all done have fun but there's two things that the WordPress importer doesn't do and that's uh, set up the menu and the front page so we'll have to do that now so to set up the menu to be exactly the same as the demo site you need to go to uh, appearances menus and here's the menu on the right but we need to select it as our primary navigation so click the select box and choose main menu and then click save and that's it your menu set so now we want to set the front page to be the home page of the website so we go to settings reading and now you want to make sure that instead of being a blog you want to use a static page for your uh, home page so click the static page uh, radio option there and now you want to click for the front page you want to select the home page click save changes and now if we go to the front end of the site you can see it's exactly the same as the demo content so you can see we've got the home page about us page all the pictures have been imported portfolio page all the portfolio items are there let's look at a video item all been imported okay the contact page everything's there and all the contact form is set up using contact form 7 and your blog page with all the new posts that we imported so you're now free to go and modify this theme however you like